Right, sod it. Let's just record this. Why the hell not? Uh, good afternoon. Happy vlog day. It's uh, Monday, the 7th of August. It's 15.32. I look like I've just been dragged backwards through a hedge because I was in the Raz all weekend. And uh, yes, I, I'm just doing a little video for a little catch up and let you know what's going on. Uh, I am just not long back yesterday uh, we were down at Shrewsbury uh, for those that you remember uh, vape fest used to be one of the main vape events in the UK it was the only vape event at one point in time and uh, it did it, it just sadly uh, stopped um, there are uh, die hard hardcore few individuals that they decided to go down to Shrewsbury even though there's no vape event there and we catch up and uh, we drink and talk and uh, be merry and we were very good at it um, and, and it was great fun so I was away for a couple of nights down there and um, yes I got a couple of toys I was given a couple of gifts when I was down there which I, I, I will show to you in just a second um, there is not a lot happening on the old Vaporoo front. I do have some reviews to do now because I have two new things to show you. Um, I also got a... I got a prototype device just came in there just now as well. I've just done a, a live unboxing for my patrons. Uh, as always, don't join my patrons, uh, patron fee because it's 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 a rip-off and, um, and I'm highly abusive to people. So just don't join it. It's as simple as that. There's no benefits. You don't get anything out of it. Uh, I just get lots of money for doing nothing, basically. It's quite a fair assessment, to be fair. <laughs> um, yes, I was set... Well, can I show you this? I don't know if I'm... We'll wait. We'll wait. I'll, 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 my head... I might wake up a little bit more and, and I'll show you this. Um... So yes, there's not much to show you uh, because really, because things are, are kind of slow. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. I, th I, I There's part of me that thinks it's just the way of the vaping game, but uh, I am somebody who has for many, many years heard the same thing year in, year out. You will, every year you always hear people saying it's dead, it's over. Uh, the vape games, nothing has changed. It's not what it was. This isn't happening anymore. We're doomed. We're doomed. And then it just keeps going. I mean, I've been here for 11 years doing this and and, and having a great time enjoying myself doing it. Uh, and many of the people I knew 11 years ago are still here doing the same thing themselves. So it is what you make it. But whilst I say that, there is no denying that, yes, it does seem to be a little bit quieter. Uh, but I do have a uh, thank you to Keith and Lisa at Creme de Vape uh, in the UK. They do have the, the new K-Fun RBA, uh, which they are sending my way. Uh, so that shall be coming in for review. Um, yeah, I think it'll be tail end of this week next week that arrives um also i will say whilst i'm talking about keith and lisa uh, cloud nine uh, i can't it's not cloud nine it's creme de vape <laughs> they used to be doesn't matter creme de vape sorry keith if, there's no chance keith will watch this but if he does i'm sorry um i was talking to keith because um they, they do have the atlantis gt um, you know, the Tayfun Aspire combo um, collab thing. Uh, I reviewed this several months ago and you could get it elsewhere in the world, uh, but it, it wasn't in the UK, but they're now stocking it and stocking the coils. Um, Dominic, thank you, Dominic, you very sexy man, uh, actually gave me some coils uh, for this at the weekend. So that's what I'm vaping away with right this second. Uh, if you haven't seen the review for the Atlantis GT, go watch it. Uh, I will hand on heart say now that they are the best coils I've come across for RDL and DL. Simple as that. 
Um, the flavour is... I'm not going to turn around here. Let's have a look. No, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on one. What's he doing? What's he doing? Where you got, why? Oh no, he's now down. Look, he's looking for a biscuit again. He's, he's, he's just rolling about the floor here. Go away. I'm recording. We're busy. And you know that I'll forget what I'm talking about because I'm talking to you. And I forgot what I'm talking. Yeah, the Atlantis Jaja ja, ja. coils are superb. The flavour is is just to yes. Go watch the video. I'll forget to link to it, but um, just search for Atlantis GT and uh, watch a review. And that's on the Strangers Mods uh, Duda. That was uh, a lovely gift from a very nice man who doesn't own a shed in Cairo. He owns, he own, yeah, I'm just going to say something else I won't. Uh, so that's that. You can obviously tell that this is going all. What? <laughs> just on one. Um, Right, here we go. Let me show you something. Now, when I was down at Shrewsbury, uh, I got two gifts. I got one from, um, and before I forget, the new RDA, I told you all over the place, the new RDA from Broken Ohm, Alex, is on its way. It should be here this week, so there will be a review coming for that. Can you, can you see this? He's just, he's just on one, he just wants out. Um, so anyway, if anybody's keeping up with what's going on here, you're doing better than I am. Um, show you this. This is brilliant. So there is a young man called Tim Lees, who's not so young. Uh, and he runs a company called Born in the Man Cave. Uh, and I've done a couple of reviews for him over the past. Now, he made this for me. And this was a little present. And if squonking's coming back, it is the future. Now this is the rosewood, and it's a, a, a beautiful little squonker, and I'm very, very appreciative, appreciative, I'm very grateful. <laughs> uh, it's even engraved into the wood there, negative and positive, and it's the rosewood. Uh, it's a mod maker uh, connection there, and it's it's. It's a squonker. It's a mech squonker. Uh, it also it came in this box, which also came with uh, other doors as well, um, which are, are. I mean, it's just. I just love the way he's done it. And there's these. You <laughs> read it. You see all this, so so obviously the mod was in the box, and um, and I couldn't get in the box. I had no idea. And on the back, it uh, says "Born in the Man Cave," and it's the rosewood, and uh, it had uh, these arrows were the clue. So um, yes, it, it probably won't work here, but. No, that way. No, come. On. Why won't this work now? <laughs> ah, it, I've perfected it. It works in centrifugal force. Uh, there's there's four pins that go in here. Try it the other way. Which way the arrow's going? Yeah, it's that way. <laughs> ah, it's almost there. I've got one open. No, it won't. <sighs> yes, we're in. One of the pins fell out. Um, it, this is just the kind of thing that Tim does, just to to. I was going to say feck with me. Uh, so obviously you've got holes in here, pins in here, and um, yes. Obviously not designed for idiots like me, but um, 
and that's it locked again right so so that was a gift one of the gifts that i got uh over the moon uh very 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 happy and um and tim thank you once again my friend and i shall hate you forever for that bloody box <laughs> really um so there's that um and then then Thank God for Nigel Moxon at SVB who uh, just puts things in a box made out of plastic and doesn't he doesn't enjoy torturing me. So yeah, those of you that know Nigel, uh, SVB, um, Soul Vapor Baby, he's been on the go uh, longer than the Ark, uh, and uh, and this is a mod that he did for me. Now excuse me, it's it's covered my fingerprints. Uh, aluminium box. Uh, laser engraved we've got a repeating pattern going round like that uh, we've got a copper inlay the big smiley copper button there copper inlay again up the top we've got uh, this with the offset I, I love the fact that he's got a big face there and on the base we have first edition I'm uh, once again this is a mechanical squonker um, I have a, where is it? It's another squonker of Nigel's that I have. Uh, obviously this is just um, 21700. This is just a big fat make squonker. Uh, but this one, this is the one that I, yes, been talking about making me this for quite some time. But uh, I just, I love the smiley faces. It's the pattern that I wanted. It's what I got. And I'm so, so happy with it. Um, both beautiful, beautiful gentlemen and who spoil me rotten and I cannot thank them enough for it. I really can't. Um, I will say with Nigel, that there's one thing, I could say many things about Nigel, <laughs> but there's one thing I will say is, uh, and if, I don't know if this matters to a lot of people, to me it matters. The throw on Nigel's Mech Squonkers is to die for. It is just, it's pe they're always perfect. Uh, they're always perfect. I mean, I'm not taken away from the fact this is a metal box with a contact strip in it. I mean, I'm not making it out to be something more than it is, but the work that's gone into the finishing, the inlays, the button, the throw in the button, everything is just to die for. And on top of here, this is uh, a prototype RDA that's coming soon, I think, from uh, Dot Mod. Uh, I've got it. I'm not going to say anything about it because I'm not sure what I'm allowed to say about it or if I. Yeah, let's just say this just arrived today and I'm trying this out. And yeah, there we go. Um, there's a lot of words that you didn't need to hear, but um, it's one thing I will say, this this new RDA, squonk-wise, it's a great squonking atty. Uh, just no, you know, a lot of atties leak all over the place. This, you can, you can really squonk the bejesus out of it. And... Um, when you put the coil in it, try and make sure that the coil isn't too high and too rowdy. What like mine is? <laughs> it's just, what? You want out? <laughs> the door's now open. They'll now stand it. Oh no, he's off. Jesus, he's off like a bull. Um, must be something exciting going on outside. Anyway, that's two mods. Uh, I showed you the Atlantis. Uh, review wise, I did put a review out for the Rubik RTA. Now, just to clarify for the Rubik RTA, uh, you can, and I did, I did, I did. You know who you are. I'm not singling you out. I'm not going to say your name. But I did put this in the description of the video. And I did put it along here twice, twice. You can run it without a pin in it, without an air insert in it, um, and you will get. Oh, 
forget what I've done with it now. Here it is, here. Hang on. I'd have to go back and check the video myself now to read it and see what it said. Was it 2.8 or 3.8, the air hole? I can't remember. I really can't remember. That's a 3.8. So that's without a pin in it, the Rubik RTA, um, and, and it does still give pretty good flavour and plenty of air. So there is that option available to you as well. Um, it's a strange RTA, but one that I think was a couple of little cons, but in the, on the whole, it's um, I, did, I, I like it. I like the way it wicks. It wicks really well. Um, so that was the Rubik. Have I, have I actually done any other reviews? Um, probably not recently. I did do a review for the Taita X, which I actually took the Taita away with me uh, when I went at the, at the weekend. It was in the my Delro, um, and that's what I vaped on the way up and down in the car. Once again, um, it's not reinventing the wheel. It's smacks of some other. RBAs that are on the market uh, but it's um, as good at what it does it really is, it's good at what it does that's a squeaky door if you can hear it yes um, what else, um, the Omnia I have kept the Omnia I like the Omnia uh, I did say in the review that I wish um, you could get, uh, you know you've got the carbon fibre tube coming He's already doing, I'm pretty sure he's already doing carbon fiber um, rods here as well. Um, if you go and join the Facebook group or check out the Art and Mod group um, webpage, you'll see all the optional extras that are there. Um, the a last review before that was the Kaka um, AIO box, which I gave both of them away to my patrons. Um, I didn't keep one of them. Yeah, I have lots of borrow mods to be fair and um, it was, for me, whilst the RBA was really good, apart from, oh, might I say the uh, Kuka or Kaka, um, they were including a 0 0.9 Allen key with it. Um, I need to close that door. Uh, but, but that's about it. Listen, um, is there anything else I can tell you about? No, that is it. I've literally nothing else here. Um, I do have to do a review for the Diplomat. Is it the Diplomat RTA, mouth long RTA? That's something I, should, I really need to do that. I need to get that done. Uh, I apologise to the mod maker uh, uh, for not having done it as yet. That's a bit remiss of me. Um, but I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, excuse me, this is just a shit show of a video, this. Uh, right, I'm going to go away, I'm going to stick on the new track by Cannons, because I really like them, and uh, I'm, I'm just going to have an afternoon doing nothing, which is probably what the doctor ordered. Uh, let me find the end now button, and as always, look after yourselves, and I shall catch up with you very, very, very soon. Bye for now.